Okay, today we have some large cent coins to show you. Here is an 1846. Look at that, isn't that nice? All those stars around, pretty good condition too. Yeah, a lot of them, they're really super worn out. 1846. Hundred and seventy years old. That is history. To have a coin that old. Wow. 1846. Right, let me show you the back side of this. Wait for it to see one cent. Look at that. Okay, 1846. Well, let me take you to 1851. Oh, it's not a 51. 1853, sorry. The next one's a 51. This is a 1853. As you can see, this one's a little bit more worn than the other one. Even though the other one's older. Seems like it's got a heart carved out of it, in it, or whatever. There's the one cent. Now this next one. is the 1851. There you go. Now you can see it. Still has all the patina on it. I am not about to clean them. You can stop the video at any time so you can take a really good look. Look at that. Okay, let me show you the back side of that one. Just not sure which way I should turn it. There you go. Right like that. One cent. Almost seems like that probably was picked up from the waters. You know, people with the metal detectors, you know. They probably found it. All right. So I think the one in the best condition in this video it's probably this 19, I mean, 1846. All right. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more old coins as we find them. All right. Bye-bye now. All right. Here we have a 1909 quarter. Look at that. That neat. All the stars around it and everything. Really neat. And this is the other side here. Of that quarter. Really nice. Okay. And for this video, we have this one here. Let right, me see if I can get this going for you. The 1863 Indian Penny. And on 
the back of these pennies simply says, we'll let it focus in, one cent. Okay, and we have another one here. The 1895, let's see if I can get it so you can see the date on it. There we go. This is at 1895. Indian penny. And again on the back side. It just has the one set. And right here we have a 1905 Indian penny. Okay. Wait for that to focus in. It takes a while to focus. There you go. And it says one set. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed my bringing you this quarter and three pennies. Nice to see some of these old coins and stuff, to see that they're still in circulation. Of course in collectors' hands, but they're still out there. Alright, stay tuned for more. We have some more coins to bring right to you. Bye-bye now. All right, today we are bringing you an 1856 dime. A little bit rough on this side here, but you can see it's an 1856. And the other side's a lot better. And let's focus in here to let you know that it's a dime. Alright, and then we have a couple of nickels to show you. Here's a 1907 nickel. Look at that. Beautiful with the stars and everything. 1907. All right, let me show you what the back side of that one looks like. It's in really good condition. Look at that, it's a five cents. And then we have a 1910. Five cents coin. This one here, at least you can see the detail of the ears, huh? Pretty cool. And of course, the back side of this one. There you go. Very nice. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing you this dime and two nickels, some of the collection of old coins. Pass the video around to other coin collectors. And stay tuned for more because we have a lot more coins to bring you. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, we have a whole bunch of the Victoria Big Pennies. Okay, this one, as you can see, is 1860. Trying to 
trying to tilt this so you can see it good. This one here. I believe it's the 1875. Okay, here we have the 1876. Yeah, I wish we could see that one better. This one's 1876. 1879. eighteen eighty one. Nice one, huh? And an 1896. All right. Now let me flip them all over so you can see. How they look on the opposite side. All right. And you have this one. This was the eighteen sixty. This is the other side to the 1875, the other side to the 1876, the other side to 1879, the other side to 18. 81 and the other side to the 1896. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing you these great big old pennies. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend because we have a lot more old coins to show you. All right. Bye bye now. Okay, here we have a 1935 double head coin. Two different men on the same coin. Look at that with the crowns and everything. Very uniquely created. I mean, look at the color of that first one. Very different. And what's amazing is the fact that, you know, it's like one on top of the other, that that first one didn't get all rubbed right off. So that's rather amazing to see. I don't know, I just found this coin I thought it was so neat at the antique store that I just had to get it. All right, and this is the back side of that coin. Look at that. That beautiful. The craftsmanship that went into making this coin is unreal. All the little details of the windows and everything. That is so beautiful. A real nice find. All right. If you know any more about this coin and stuff, please leave it in a comment. Educate the rest of us. But I find this one just amazing to see. Very nice. All right. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. Because I've got a lot more coins to bring you. Okay. A lot of them are from the 1800s. So stay tuned for more. Okay. Share them with other coin collectors too. Okay.
，拜拜。Okay, here we have a couple of large cent coins. Uh, we know they're eighteen hundreds, but have no idea what the year uh, really is. So, if any of you recognize it, know it, you know it's got Liberty on the on the hat on the head. That's about the only thing we do know about it. Really a super old coin. I'm trying to. See, that's an eight. Can't really tell. So, any of you old collectors out there who have seen this coin before might have a good idea of the value and what year it is. By all means, leave it in the comment. It's almost like you can see some of it, but then you can't. Let me show you the other side of this coin. It's the one cent. You do know it goes back to the 1800s. We're just not sure anything more about it. The mysteries of the coin. All right. So you can stop the video, and if you have a different way of looking at it, different than what I can. You know, you can see the formation of the ear really nice. You can see it says Liberty, E Liberty, or is that an F Liberty? A really nice coin. And we have another one that we're trying to figure out. This is 18, it's like 1870 something. 1878 maybe? That's got the Liberty. Only this one's been through some battles. As you can see. But it's an 18 something, 1870 something. Looks like 1878. Because the eights kind of formed a little bit like the other one. But this one, of course, has been through a lot of love. And okay. I'm not really sure which way this one's supposed to turn. There you go, this way. One cent. Okay. So, if you know anything about these two coins, by all means, Leave it in a comment. Share these coins with other stamp I mean other coin collectors. I do stamps too, so between stamps and postcards and everything else, I get a little mixed up once in a while. Senior moment. Alright, so pass the video around to other coin collectors. See if they can shed a little bit of light on these beautiful coins. Alright. Bye-bye now. All right, here we have some old pennies. They're one pennies. Here we have a 1914. Here we have a 1918. And we have a 1929. This one's in rather good shape here. 
and another 1929. Rather good shape. Big old one pennies. Bigger than what they make them today for sure, huh? And look at this one. 1936. All right. Now let me flip them all over for you. show you this side of them. Alright. This first one is a 1914 one. Which makes them 102 years old. Much better condition on this side than the other side. And this one here was a 1918. This was the 1929. I mean, you can really see all the details of this one. Very good condition. Here's the other 1929. Very good. And this one here was the 1936. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these five to you. If you know of any coin collectors, send them the video. Sharing is really nice. Alright, bye-bye now. Okay, this video has a lot of old, old coins that really, can't really see dates and they're just... Extremely old, they're hard to even see. This has a 56 on it. So I'm not totally sure on this. Super duper old. Maybe if we flip them over, you might be able to see something more on it. Which way is that coin supposed to be? Can't see nothing on that. That's this one. Let's flip it over to see. This one you can see a little bit better. One of the old Victoria coins. 18, looks like 1884. Yep, 1884 on that one. There you go. Really making the camera work hard here. We got this in the nickel. Definitely no date on that. Made it so it'd be all worn out. And this one we have no idea. Not sure. It almost seemed like it had the feathers, so I thought, well, maybe it was another nickel, but not totally sure. Hey, you can see a little bit more. No clue.
Here, let's flip that back over and see if it'll zoom in real close to give us a better idea of what it's supposed to be. Not really. Okay. Oh, let's get down here to this one. Huh. That's strange looking, isn't it? Almost looks like a haunted house. Haunted house on a cone on a coin. Alright, let's flip that one over and see. It's like a big penny one. doesn't help us any, does it? This way here looks like a haunted house. Well, it does look like there might be numbers on there. Hmm. Well, I have no idea. All right, let's move on to the next one then. Does this one first? Now well, let's see if we can get a year on that. Not really, but at least you can see the coin. I don't dare to try to clean any of these up because I'm not a professional in the field. see more. So that kind of looks like the next coin. With the hair just going like that. Ah, here we go. We got some writing here. Okay. That helps any of you to understand what this coin is about. Please leave it in the comments so we can all know. different, isn't it? Hmm. Her hair just going like that. Wow, I wonder where this coin comes from. Different. Okay, if you look at that one, then look at this one. Different, isn't it? If you know anything about this one, that'd be nice to leave in a comment too. Huh. Okay, let's flip it over and see if we can see anything there. That's not going to give us a clue, is it? Okay. Off to the next one here. Alright, this should be this way, I believe. What's the date on that? Huh. 
Huh. Almost looks like a 14, but I don't have no idea. That's the one we were looking at. Ain't like that different, huh? Okay, if you have any idea, you know, turn this video over to a coin collector and maybe he can help us out. Almost looks like it's supposed to be this way. Almost looks like someone riding a horse. You can see a little bit of some numbers or something on there. Maybe take it and enlarge it. We'll be able to see better. Alright. Well, let's go off to this next one here. I might want to go this way. Really tell with this one, huh? Let's flip it over and see what we can see. see like lines through it all. It's been through a lot. Whatever. Has seen its better days. Alright. Now let's go to this last one here. these you just can't make out. You have no idea what they are. Definitely super old. Got them, they said 100 to 200 years old, so we don't really know, do we? Okay, did we do this one? The five cent one, I think he was off on the side, so I kind of missed him. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me and join me as a friend. And if you can make out any of them, by all means, let us know. <laughs> Dying of curiosity here. That's some really cool ones. One that looks like a haunted house. And the other one right behind it. That one right there. Very interesting coin. All right. Share the video if you know any old coin collectors that can maybe stop the video at one and zoom in and figure out what some of these coins may be. I would appreciate that. But this is the leftover coins that I have no idea about. All right. Bye-bye now. This video holds only one CCCP 
little coin. It's just a tiny, tiny, very thin little coin. Look at that. That's all it is. Let me flip it over for you. I mean, it is so paper thin. Well, extremely thin. And this is the other side. 1981. But it was the fact that, you know, because I know when I have these stamps, you know, some people say, well, we can't, we can't even buy them because of the embargo. And so we can't buy those stamps. But to actually see a coin is so tiny and so thin. Surprised they weren't in all loss. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this one to you. I just found it very unique and wanted to do a video all by itself. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, this video has some really cool old foreign coins. And we have this one here. I'll show you this side. Whoops. Let's travel. And it's a five. Believe it or not, it's 1980. So I guess it's not that old, huh? Okay, and we have this one here. Very nice to look at. Very nice design, isn't it? I like that one. That's a 10 cents. Or a 10. Ah, I did not get a year on this one. Hmm. Let's check the other side again. Alright. We have this one that's just a two. He's a 1991, a German one. I believe this one's the same. A 1950. Okay. And this one here, look at this. A 2C. Wow, look at that. That's a nice one, isn't it? Nineteen eighty seven. Okay. Well, that's quite the design, isn't it? All right. Flip right over, and we have nineteen sixty. And 
here we have a German one, A5. Nineteen ninety four. Okay, then we have this one here. Oops, this way here. And a nineteen fifty four. Alright, hope you've enjoyed these eight foreign coins. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and stay tuned for more because we have more coins to, sh to show you. Alright, bye bye. Okay, here we have these cards here. I have three of them. They're called Three Little Indians. They had the old cards, and they also came each in their own case and stuff. These are some nice old coins. Right here. 1895. 1907. In 1898. There we go. So I'm trying to figure out if that's an eight or a three. It's an eight. Here we go. Sometimes it's hard to see. Okay, 1898. There we go. Need a little sun to come into the window here. Help me see a little bit better. All right. So let me show you the back side of these coins. And they all say one cent. Probably all upside down too. Hmm. we go. Now on the second batch here, let's see how we can get the letters in there. There we go, there we go. 1895. Eighteen eighty nine and nineteen oh three. Okay, you can stop the video at any time so you can check out the stamp a little bit more if you're a stamp collector. If you know stamp collectors, by all means, send them the video so they can check this all out. Okay, now let me show you the back side of those. Let's turn it upside down. I remember that now. And these are the back side of this group. Alright, now let me show you the third group. Right here. 1892. Maybe if you sat in there a little bit better, you could see them better. 1892. Then 1896. And 1907. Alright. Now let me show you the back side of these guys. 
and they're all the one set. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these three little Indians, three cards of each. Three coins in each card. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more because we've got plenty of old coins to show you. Bye-bye now. All right, here we have three of the bigger coins to show you. Here we have one of them. Flip it over and see what we got here. It's a one penny. And it's a 1905. Okay, then we have this one here. Oh, let's flip them over. Doopy doop. There we go. It's a big one. Okay, we've seen the tiny little coin ones. This one's a big one. Okay, this is a 1965. Look at the design. Very nicely designed. This one here. All right, let's flip her over and see what we got. And this one is eighteen sixty one. Okay, so we got a 1905, an 1861, and a 1965. I like that something, huh? Okay, be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. Bye-bye now.